In this video, as we wrap up July, I'll be introducing some must-have latest mods for Fallout 4. First, I'd like to introduce the Excel Fallout 4 mod. This mod is designed to optimize and fix bugs in Fallout 4, enhancing the game's performance, eliminating memory leaks, and adding various patches to improve overall stability. This mod improves performance through enhancements like red improvements, spin lock optimization, and memory manager replacement. It also addresses freezing issues related to face generation when creating new characters and removes unnecessary elements from the load screen to reduce loading times, significantly enhancing the overall gaming experience in Fallout 4. Next up is Beauty Project Rework. This mod enhances the appearance of female NPCs in Fallout 4, including all in-game female NPCs and DLC characters. It is compatible with popular mods like Faces, 1K, 2K. The mod rejuvenates the facial features of female NPCs, either maintaining their original hairstyles or introducing entirely new ones. Additionally, it applies makeup to give the characters a fresh look, making the female characters in the game more attractive. Next up is the Story Encounter Booster. This mod helps you find unusual random encounters more easily in Fallout 4, increasing the number of unique encounters unrelated to player quests. For example, you can more frequently experience interesting encounters, like a dog trader reluctant to sell his dog or a man posing as Preston Garvey to run a charity scam. This mod increases both unusual encounters unrelated to player quests and quest-related encounters. It is marked as a lightweight plugin to minimize load order impact. You can use it immediately after installation without any additional settings or special steps. Next up is the Papyrus Common Library. This mod provides a common toolkit for Papyrus, the scripting language of Fallout 4. It allows the use of temporary global variables, supports two-dimensional arrays and maps for efficient data management, and enables file management within the game's root folder and subdirectories. Additionally, it allows interaction with the in-game console to execute commands or clear the console, and offers the ability to modify script types at runtime, making scripting tasks in Fallout 4 more modern and efficient. In this segment, we'll be introducing weapon mods, and first up is the Riveter. This mod adds the Riveter shotgun from Modern Warfare 3 to Fallout 4. The highly customizable Omni 410 can be used with various attachments and features high-quality models and sounds imported from Modern Warfare 3. It includes animations that work in both first-person and third-person perspectives. The weapon can be found in the Riveter tab at the Chemistry Workbench. Similar to the previously introduced BAL 27, this mod also requires Stooge's COD modding framework, version 1.1 or higher. Without this framework, attachments will appear pink, so please ensure it is installed. Next up is the Agram 2000 submachine gun. This mod adds a highly rapid firing submachine gun. The Agram 2000 is a lightweight submachine gun manufactured in Croatia, inspired by the Beretta M12, and was produced in small quantities during the Croatian War of Independence in the 1990s. Once players reach level 8, they can obtain this weapon from various enemy factions, such as Raiders, Gunners, and Minutemen. It primarily uses 38 ammunition, but also offers an option for 9 Kawag's 19mm rounds. The mod includes a variety of attachments, including 7 scopes, 4 muzzles, 4 barrels, and 3 magazines. If this sounds appealing, give this mod a try. Next up is the Colt Kimber Custom. This mod adds an M1911 style semi-automatic pistol to Fallout 4, designed, manufactured, and distributed by Kimber Manufacturing INC. The Colt Kimber Custom in the game is fully customizable, offering a wide range of modification options from Sunfire Tactical Lights to the Trijicon series of sights. The default grip angle of the pistol is tilted at 45 degrees, which is quite impressive, and it features stylish animations for reloading and holstering. With its excellent design and performance, this pistol is a must-try. Next up is the CRKT M16 Pocket Knife. 
This mod adds a meticulously designed CRKT M16 pocket knife to Fallout 4. It uses vanilla animations and can be crafted at the chemistry workbench. The knife is known for its high polygon count, and despite being a melee weapon, it has a very tactical feel. The black design is quite impressive. In this segment, we'll be introducing visual mods. First up is the RE8 Med Injector Stim Pack Replacer. This mod replaces Fallout 4's Stim Pack model with the Blue Umbrella Med Injector from Resident Evil Village. It substitutes all in game Stim Packs with the Med Injector and works seamlessly in both first person and third person views. Additionally, it applies to companion characters and even replaces the Stim Pack usage sound with the one from Resident Evil Village. Next up is the LVTP-8A Marine Amphibious APC. This mod adds a Marine Amphibious Armored Personnel Carrier, APC, to the game. It includes two static versions and a variant with an openable hatch. These can be added as decorations and buildable objects in settlements, and can be crafted under the miscellaneous category. Despite its rusty appearance, it looks sturdy enough to give your settlement a military base vibe. Lastly, I'd like to introduce a mod for Fallout 4 London. First up is Tactical Reload for Fallout London. Although it was released quite quickly, it is still a WIP version. This mod allows various tactical rifles to perform tactical reloads, making it possible to use tactical reloads in London as well. In fact, London was not compatible with the tactical reload mod, causing infinite loading issues when applying rifles that support tactical reloads. However, with this mod, you can use some tactical reload weapons to a certain extent. And since it is still a WIP version, it is important to keep an eye on future updates. It is recommended to back up your mod list beforehand. Next up is the Fall UI. Folon Icons Replacer. This simple mod replaces the icons used in Fallout 4 London, allowing you to enjoy new icons from the London game for the map, compass, HUD, and other elements. Next up is the Fallout London CBBE Body Slides. This mod provides CBBE body slide files for Fallout 4 London. It is primarily used with vanilla outfits, and the latest update adds several new outfits and expands Uniboob support. Is since most of you use Body Slide, I consider this an essential mod and wanted to introduce it to you. If you enjoy Fallout 4 London, you should definitely check this out. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the latest Fallout 4 mods. We hope you found some exciting additions to enhance your gaming adventures in the Commonwealth. Remember to subscribe for more updates on the latest mods and gaming content. See you next time, and happy modding.